Tosh is back. Pixie, girl, spice, fringe, pout, play, sway, pose, pop. Have I missed any? You did very, very well. Have you been practicing? <laughs> nope, just did it on the spot. Victoria, how exciting. This is the brand new Posh lipstick collection. What a name. I always knew it was going to be called Posh, and the shade that I wear is Posh Spice. We thought it would be a good idea to mm. celebrate the fact that you are the icon of nude lipstick. I was about to say icon of nudes, icon of nude lipstick. Well, maybe that's it, maybe not that actually. It's a nice thought. Icon of the 90s nude lipstick that we will take you down memory lane. Are you ready? Are you excited? We are going back to the 90s, Victoria Beckham. We're in a time machine. Let's go. Oh, well, we're going in with a bang here. That dress was an Oasis dress. I loved that dress. I also wore that dress on the first ever date that I went on with David. No. Yes. How do you remember that? I don't remember what I wore yesterday. Oh my gosh, I have a photographic memory and you can see the heavy lip liner there. Well, that's what I love. Yeah. That lip liner is like, you're not messing around. Baby posh. Baby posh, I love it. Do you love the facial expression? I mean, I pointed a lot. That was the main contribution yeah, to the posh. band. I wore the heels and I pointed. No. Very important role. <laughs> Just laughing. I can see that they've tried to show us a 90s troll. I do remember Trolls. I didn't own any. You didn't own any? Actually, there should have been like a Spice Girls Trolls collaboration. Listen, we did everything from lollipops to Polaroid cameras. I'm sure there was a troll thrown in there somewhere. I don't quite get why there was no Oscars here. This is brilliant. Robbed. Absolutely what? robbed. I'm still waiting for my outstanding contribution to the film industry because, like you, I'm totally perplexed as to why I didn't win something for that. It's just rude, actually. It's rude! Here's a question. Do you think any of your kids would even know what to do with this? They think it was a weapon. <laughs> That's not kind to the environment, is it? No! I won't throw this behind me. Don't you kill a small child if you throw that behind you. When was the last time you watched it? It wasn't that long ago that okay. in our house it was on heavy rotation, literally. Harper just loved it. Obviously, wow, there's there's Mummy as a pop star, but yeah. then, oh my gosh, there's Uncle Elton. When you guys were in the army and you were marching and they were all just in flats in their camo and then you were just in really high heels and a tiny little dress. Oh my gosh, that is Harper's <laughs> favourite part of of, um, of Spice World. I do notice though that the busier we got and the more tired that we got, the more makeup we put on, the more blusher we put on, the more tired we got, the more we plucked those eyebrows in the 90s. Double leather, his and hers. Double leather and very spiky hair. What we were wearing was actually Gucci, and we had the nerve to turn up to a Versace event <gasps> in full on Gucci. And let me tell you, this wasn't even a nice, sort of soft leather. This was, it really was. <laughs> it really was. How do you two feel about doing his and hers now? I I highly doubt it. It's funny, my kids have been sending me pictures of myself from the 90s and be like, Mum, you were so cool. I love that they thought you were cool. Thought I was cool. I'm not <laughs> so sure what they think now. We're talking lipstick today. I feel it would only make sense if we play Guess the Lipstick. So mm -hmm. got, I've got a few people that you're very close to. That's Baby Spice. Emma has the most beautiful smile and the most beautiful tear. No, I think that's Jerry. How did you guess? Jerry always wore quite a strong lip. This was posh, not at her best, with a very heavy lip. I mean, I don't know what to say. That's exactly, everyone should look and learn from this picture. Don't ever <laughs> do your lipstick like that. Do not do this at home. Uh-uh. Mm. Uh -uh. This gets a no. It gets a no. Oh, this is the hardest. Does David Beckham ever look bad in any? <laughs> this is one of his best pictures. This is, this is an iconic image all round. Isn't this when Jerry did a bit of smooching? <laughs> I think she might have. Didn't she like pinch his bottom or something really the inappropriate? Lipstick. Oh, we can see the lipstick on him. Okay, tell us, why did you go with the name Posh? I always like to have humour in what I'm doing. And when we were throwing names around, you know, what do we call the lipsticks? I just thought Posh would just be the perfect wink at the past. Very honest with who I am. It just felt like the right thing to do. There is one that you have said is a mid-tone ginger. I mean, I have to ask. Mm -hmm. Jerry? Is this made for Jerry? I would be honoured if 
if Jerry liked the lipstick. I have found the odd photo where you do have this power mm. red. And what's your advice to someone who just doesn't feel that they suit a red? I was having dinner with Mr. Valentino a few years ago in Italy. And he said to me, darling, why do you never do a red lip? And I said, well, because I'm, I'm nervous. And he said, women should always, always wear a red lip. And that was a turning point for me because, you know, I was quite intrigued by what he mm. said and wanted to try it. I mean, also if Mr. Valentino says, you just did. Well, absolutely. <laughs> Immediately, we went out the next day, we had red, every shade of red. Never looked back. Isn't that the true joy of a nude? That look how different your nude is to it. And then I will normally take pout and just put a little bit of that on the centre of my face. Sorry. No, that's okay. <laughs> yeah. But I love pout, so can I have this? You can have pout. Okay. I'll give you spice, I'll take pout. Posh is well and truly back. Posh is back.